And we're live. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Hello. Very welcome to another Pro Tipster Live Facebook video. So I'm joined by Pro Tipster Dan. High five, Dan. Go the other way. No, that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to have a chat about uh, some of the FA Cup matches over the weekend. And we'll have a quick look forward to some of the Championship and Premier League matches happening uh, uh, tomorrow and the following day as well. And yeah. In between, uh, Dan, a uh, couple of upsets, wasn't there? Yeah, Birmingham City didn't lose for a start. <laughs> rude, rude, my tip. Um, I think with Martin not here, we've got to talk about West Ham. Yeah, West Ham are awful, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not joking. I, I I texted Martin about ten minutes into the game, saying, um, "Yeah, strong team, well done." Uh, yeah. Um, I, I, I think he's very, un well, most West Ham fans are unhappy. Um, Moyes is quite clear that he didn't give it a monkey's about the FA Cup and Wigan took full advantage, um, especially with them going down to 10 men. I don't know if you saw the Masuaku incident, but, but he deserves a six-match ban. Which is yeah, he got six, six matches banned, didn't he? Mm-hmm. That's, that's ridiculous. I mean, who, uh, when's the last time we saw spitting like that? Uh, um, Saiz, Leeds United, about a month ago, also got a six-month uh, yeah. ban. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's actually not that long ago, though, as it was. <laughs> you know, but yeah, awful, bad form. You know, uh, West Ham are, uh, and they lost Sacco today. They sort of flogged them off, didn't they? He'd only played twice in this season, and uh, Martin was saying that there's no loss. Um, yeah. They're trying to sign uh, Fyodor Smolov from Krasnodar, the Russian David Beckham. Yeah, my exactly, exactly my response. Um, West Ham wants a loan deal. Krasnodar wants to sell it for twelve million. Apparently, he speaks fluent English. All right, he's probably a posh boy then. Yeah. Probably. Uh, what else happened? Uh, yeah, man, Liverpool. Ah, Liverpool. <laughs> Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool. <laughs> give, give us, give us, give us your expert opinion, please, Pro Tips to Dan. Um, I don't know. I, I, th I thought their defence was poor. Um, West Brom, um, I, I heard a stat, eight out of the last ten shots on goal against Liverpool have been scored over the last three games. <laughs> it's serious. Oh, man, what's going on with the defence? But did you see he brought back Moreno and dropped Robertson, which is just ridiculous. Robertson's been brilliant. He's been a really good player. I don't know what I, they're at. I, I think he was just retaking the squad. Um Mignolet as well. The, foot, the, the, the goal where um, uh, was it Robson Carney had an effort and he mm -hmm. bounced out, and, and Rodriguez just went, "Thank you very much. I like that." Yeah, yeah. Joe. Sure. You know, Joe. Sure. Uh, Birmingham didn't lose against Huddersfield. So you'll have a nice replay over that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Actually, to be honest, when the team lineup was announced, a lot, of, a lot of Birmingham City fans were saying, "Oh, we'll get a replay here." Um, Lukas Jukovic scored for the first time in months. Should have had a second, maybe, but it was ruled out for offside. Um, yeah, it was a surprising result. And Dan, so just on, on that, you know, like a lot, a lot of clubs, they when they when they play bigger teams, they want uh, an FA Cup replay. Like, um, will Huddersfield coming to uh, Birmingham now? Will, will that be a, a bigger crowd? Uh, I don't think it's much about a big. It's an extra game. It's an extra game with your seats. Um, we might be on TV, but I don't think so. But for Birmingham City, it's about momentum. We we need to keep winning and getting positive results, and not losing to Huddersfield keeps our momentum going. That's why I don't care about the extra game. Mm -hmm. You gotcha. Um, uh, yeah. Did you see this thing with the German national team and Cardiff? Oh, uh, yeah. Stop injuring our players. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the tackle? No, I can't. I saw the tackle and I got internet about five minutes ago. <laughs> it was horrendous. Um, Bennett should Bennett should have went. It was a mm. horrific, horrific challenge, and Bennett should have went for it. Um, he actually did go in the end um, for persistent fouling, but it was it was a leg breaker. Really yeah, bad challenge. Bad form then. Uh, what else was big? So Chelsea had an easy win. That was the City match. City had an easy win. Yeah, Newport. Lucky Newport. Yeah, I didn't see that, but um, it just shows you how hard it is to go to these little grounds. Uh, Rodney Parade is like tiny in comparison to Wembley. So, yeah. but VAR I think is the big thing this weekend as well. 
because um, the, the Liverpool West Brom game, for instance, it, it was just VAR was just shocking. And then there was the Lazio game. I don't know if you saw that, where the uh, I think it was Milan they were playing, wasn't it? The Milan player Milan. scored it, scored it with this part of his arm. Oh no way! And and it was still allowed despite having VAR and everything. But but the, what what was the story? Did they not watch the VAR? I don't I don't think it was reviewed. But um, uh, see, that's I, I'm, ridiculous. I'm completely against it. I think it ruins the game, and mm-hmm. I think it's only been brought in by people who don't watch the game at the grounds and people who want to have this replay was brought to you by Mastercard. <laughs> but then, Dan, you see, right? I'm I'm opposite to you. I, I I think they are a good thing, but I think it's been done incorrectly. Uh, mm. And because, see, I I don't like this argument that people have that it slows down the game. Because to be honest, uh. Because I, I I actually think football isn't that fast of a game anyway. Like compared to say like the Irish sports, Gaelic football and and hurling, they're not a passion for speed. And and they have uh, they don't have VAR in the Irish sports, but they do have offside or uh, you know points. There's a difference between goals and points. Points goes over the bar, so they do have Hawkeye if they're not sure about that. And it doesn't really slow it down because it's Hawkeye. It's it's it's, it's the same as goal line in in football and. Um, I'm okay with goal line technology because it doesn't slow it down. But VAR reminds me of in baseball they have like uh, challenges, and it really—I mean, baseball's quite a slow sport anyway, yeah. and the, the challenges are just really bad. And I kind of like the idea that you can, that the only people ask for a challenge maybe are the managers. It's only once per game you're allowed or something like that, mm-hmm. because it shouldn't be. I don't think it should be, should be for every decision. I think it's too much because it's not, it's not causing any. Uh, it's not stopping controversy, which is what people thought it would do. There's no no way you can do that. It's no, still no, subjective. No, no. Yeah, I, so, think, I don't. Um, maybe there's. I, I don't know. Like maybe there's a way around it that it shouldn't be for offsides. Maybe just for goals or fouls, red cards, something like that. I don't know. It's yeah. got to be fine tuned, you know. And I thought, I, I I thought I thought the English FA were being were being pretty smart about it by not bringing it into the league, and they were going to wait until until. They saw how it got on in like Syria, because at the beginning in Syria it was a joke, and it looked like it'd have been all right. But then you said there's another issue. This, this again. So I, I, I thought, I thought, I thought the English were being smart for just saying, no, look, we'll wait and then we'll introduce it because it's well, going, it's going to be a shambles at the World Cup, then, isn't it? Opinions just totally divided on it in Europe, and mm-hmm. it's divided the same way it is like that I've seen. Um, there are people on one side who I think are the kind of people who watch football at home the kind of people who can see the commercial aspect of it, saying, yeah, it's a great idea. And then people like me who go to more games, who are like, nah, come on, this is crap. <laughs> <laughs> this well, is crap. I, I think we know who's going to win out, though, Dan, don't we? Well, yeah, that money's going to win. Oh, always does. Uh, uh, let me have a else really stood out. Not County got a, got a draw with Swansea. They'll get a... Uh, oh, that was the replay, so they'll be away to Swansea. Sheffield United mm. go through to have them through Wigan or through against West Ham. We spoke about yeah. that. Uh, Sheffield United. So everything, every, every other than the West Ham game and the Liverpool game, everything kind of went to plan, except for okay, Spurs, but they get another chance at it. Uh, the Championship, Dan. Um, Wolves won again. Uh, Bristol yeah. are back to winning. Oh. Yeah, uh, Wolves play... Um Played a good game. I, I I didn't really see much of it because I was uh, I was concentrating on Birmingham City this weekend. But um, big win for them because it took their lead to the top to twelve points. I think uh, big win for Bristol City too. Um, but at the wrong end, Barnsley taking the tanking at Fulham, uh, home to Fulham, puts them right in trouble. Um, on Tuesday night, um, Birmingham City plays Sunderland, which is a massive, massive. Six points yeah. at the bottom of the table. I was going to ask you about that. Uh, Birmingham just over evens, 2.1 more or less. Would you back them or, or what? Um, you know, you want to know something. Um, I do, probably, yeah. yes. Kind of, the prob- probably the kind of game we'll lose because we, we play better against good teams and worse against bad teams. And Sunderland are not no great shape. Sunderland are a better away from home than they are at home. Right. We'll have, we'll make. Seven changes probably. Um, so the players that came in for the uh, for the FA Cup game will go back out. Um, Gallagher will come back in up front. 
Nakoma will come in white, Jeremy Boger will come in white, but I'm I'm not counting my chickens. Mm. Uh, I've been burned too many times. <laughs> yeah, we'll, go, we'll go back to the Premier League then. So Arsenal, Arsenal, there's three matches tomorrow: Swansea, Arsenal, West Ham, Palace, uh, Huddersfield, and uh, Liverpool. And there was a bit of a discussion on the Pro Tips to Slack channel about West Ham and Palace. Yeah, um, yeah, I was going to come to that actually um, because uh, one, one uh, our Italian expert Marco wanted to know why West Ham were uh, so high in price. <laughs> um, I, I said that I wouldn't touch West Ham with a barge pole, and Martin said, no, I wouldn't either. <laughs> it just does it all, really, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. West Ham have got so many injuries, and you know, they're also missing Masuaki as well. Um, they're going to struggle to put out a team. It's that bad. Um, and then you look at, you know, they're trying to do deals today, so... Um, they're trying to bring in that small off. They're looking at Graziano Pele, but he's on 250 grand a week in China. Can't see that happening either. No. Um, and uh, Andre Ayew wants to leave, wants to get to, maybe go to Swansea. Um, I don't know if that will happen. Joe Hart will, I can see Joe Hart coming back to Man City because he doesn't want to be West Ham, doesn't want to be second choice keeper because he thinks he's endangering his uh, World Cup prospects. Which is fine because I don't think you should be in the keeper either. So. <laughs> no, you're right. You shouldn't. No, you shouldn't. time's going to go. It should be Jordan Pickford or Jack Butler. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely, definitely, definitely one of them. Um, Hart has had too many bangers. In and he, he was always given a kind of a free pass among the English media as well. But I think it's, I think it's gone now. I think his chance is gone. Um, what else What's from you, the following day? I, I was going to ask you. What do you make of Danny, uh, Daniel Sturridge going out on loan to Newcastle United? Is that where he's going? Maybe. That's what's being reported at the moment. It's Newcastle have uh, made an inquiry. Um, look, I mean, there's no point in him being in Liverpool. It's a shame because uh, I always like Sturridge and I, I'd always try and find a way to get him on the team. But look, it's, it's the manager's call. It's, it's the, he wants to play... He wants to play this formation that's, you know, four defenders and six attackers and Sturridge doesn't fit into it. Maybe, maybe when he had that season with, 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 uh, with uh, Luis Suarez, when he was, you know, good and holding it up and, and just wasn't getting injured every 30 seconds, um, he could have fit in. But he's just, he just made a glass and, nah, look, I mean, you'd, you'd hate to see him rotten on the bench because he could go to Newcastle and, and if he just plays in the box there, he can, he can score. He can get ten goals. By the, by the, Would you rather see go to Newcastle, uh, a potential rival, or to Internazionale? Oh well, I mean, it's a simple answer that I, I'd rather live in Milan than live in Newcastle. Exactly. <laughs> so, so for his, you know, cultural uh, learnings, I would prefer him to go to Milan. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> it's, uh, a couple other matches. Uh, what's good coming up in the Premier League? Uh, Everton, Leicester, maybe. Uh, Stoke, Watford. That looks... Uh, there's good odds there. Oh, Spurs. Oh, I'm missing the big one. Spurs are playing Man United. I was going to say, quickly on the Everton game, Sam Allardyce was on Sky Sports News this afternoon complaining that he's got to play a game on transfer deadline day. Because... <laughs> he's serious. <laughs> because you know players get like their next term blah 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 oh they're saying Daniel Sturridge to West Ham now uh, Sky Sports uh, News I thought they're, they're linking Daniel Sturridge to West Ham I know, yeah it would be, um, would be, would be. Yeah, big, big Sam was saying that it's not fair because players get their heads turned and how they're supposed to prepare for the game if, <laughs> in other words he, yeah, he wants to sign him with five players in the last day that's what it is uh, Chelsea have an easy Spurs. one against uh, yeah man Tottenham Spurs and Man United that, that's the big one how do you see that going I'll give you the odds right Spurs are 2.31 uh, the draw 3.3 and Man United to win 3.26 um, I don't know it's early days because you don't know who's going to be fit you don't know who if, if, if even I don't think Man U will sign anyone and I don't think Spurs will sign anyone but no. I suppose it's a possibility. Um, I fancy Spurs at Wembley. Um, nice big pitch, and I, I think they've, they've, you know, they've got to grips with playing uh, playing at Wembley at home. 
Um, yeah, the, the Newport County result was a complete aberration, but I don't think it will affect them. I think they'll be back on it. Did you see any of uh, Sanchez the other day? Against Yeovil? Um, no, I, I, I watched the first 20 minutes of the match and went, <sighs> and turned it over. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was smart for Mourinho to give him the game, get the first game out of the way, so that it's not, yeah, you know, it's, yeah, it's a little FA Cup match. There's no pressure, and and now, uh, you know, now the first Premier League match is against. Plus, I suppose it's against like his old rivals, old, old Arsenal rivals, Spurs as well. So it's, it's, I reckon he'd be up for it. Mm. Um, what else was there? If you're from the Championship, did you have a look? So you you mentioned Birmingham Sunderland. Uh, that nurse was tasty, yeah. Uh, okay, so on Tuesday, um, there's us as okay. Burton Albion against Reading is an interesting game because Burton Albion have just signed Darren Bent on loan, which is a, a, a cracking signing for them, really. If he's got any of his um former skill about him, Reading have just taken uh Elphick on loan from uh the, the mob whose name I don't like to pronounce. Um, so he'll help to shore up their defence. And it's going to be a tough game because neither Burton or Redden have been playing well recently, you know. Um, Sheffield United against uh, that mob in Claret and Blue. Obviously <laughs> backing a blade to win. Obviously <laughs> backing up. Got to be a blade to win that has. Um, Millwall, Derby County. It's going to be a good test Derby, that is. Derby are really pushing for promotion and the, de and the new den is not an easy ground to go to, I don't think. Mm. Um, especially not on a cold winter yeah. evening. I wouldn't fancy that. Um, no, I don't fancy the den at the best of times, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> not a nice place. Not a nice place no. at all. Not that I've ever been there, but you know, what I know about it. Um, right, so look, I suppose we can finish up then, Dan. Uh, we'll be back on Wednesday with the Combined 11 podcast. We we'll need to pick our team, so we'll bang our heads together about that but uh, other than that make sure and check out Pro Tipster where you can earn money by sharing your tips and if you're not all that good at tips you get over there anyway there's loads of great tipsters over there who can point you in the right direction of where your money should be going and uh, yeah check us out on YouTube we'll have uh, strategy videos and podcasts and all those kinds of great stuff as well. stuff and World Cup stuff and coming soon as well World Cup stuff coming soon Exactly. All right, Dan, thanks for talking. It's been a pleasure. Take it easy, lads. Bye-bye, everybody. Good luck. Bye.